Trump, why did you call me here? I was having a good time with my... Did I ask? We simply do not care. You have the most monotone and boring life possible. You would rather sit in bed with your Thanos-looking wife instead of spending time with the boys. Michelle has a jaw as strong as the one of a pit bull. I bet she could just nibble at a tree for 20 minutes and take it down like a beaver. Hey, Obama, make sure you don't drop the flashlight with that skinny wrist of yours. Guess who's going to be voting for Kanye this year? Man, I love getting my morale up by hating on other people. Anyways, get in the car. I will be explaining the plan. If I ever end up selling crack on the sidewalk at 3 a.m., I hope both of you will be selling it with me. Thank you, Joe. I'm glad that you understand the billionaire hater mindset. But back to what I was talking about. Fox News published a new bullshit article about scary creatures in this city or whatever, and I want us to investigate what's really going on. Why the hell would we do that? Why don't you send over Scooby-Doo or the Ghostbusters over to help? I agree with Obama. If you think you are Batman or something, fine. But don't carry us around the city looking for ghosts. You don't understand, Joe. I need you for this. Since you are basically halfway dead, you might have a connection with the world beyond, one which I do not possess. Fine. I will let it pass just because you made it sound cool, but you will have to buy me ice cream afterwards. I understand now. Am I here because I know how to use the Ouija board and play mage on World of Warcraft? Well, most like Joe during his presidency, you serve no purpose. But those Syrian kids might come to haunt you or something. Seeing you run around from them would be pretty funny. Certainly a morale boost. Kanye 2024, baby. All right, Trump, what's the first creature we have to go against? Michael Myers or something? Closer to Freddy Fazbear, if you ask me. His name is Pigsy. So he's a robot of some kind? No, not at all. Are we about to break into the home of a furry? Break into his house? Obama, don't be silly. We will commit cold-blooded murder. Now get out with flashlights open and let's go take a look inside. All right, got it. No need to point a gun at us. Remember back in 2021 when you said that games cause violence? You might have been onto something. You have 50 hours in Counter-Strike just in the past four days. Sorry, old habit I got from hanging out with Putin. To be honest, I have no idea why anyone would want to hang out with you, but since he's... Ah! Holy shit, I can't believe it. He's real. He's going for me. Ouch. What? I thought it was all a hoax. Why does he look like Trump's wife without her makeup on? How the hell is that the first thing to come in your mind? A mutant with an axe is chasing me. Can you guys help? We have been shooting it with rifles for a few seconds now. All of his fat is protecting him. Ah, yes, this is a clear case of what physicians call the Donald J. Trump effect. Guys, I'm still getting hit over the head with the axe. See, Trump is barely getting hurt because he has a 20-inch layer of fat protecting his internal organs. I won't even shoot Pigsy anymore just so that they get a fair fight. This feels like watching a dog fight, but with two pigs instead. You are lucky that I cannot fight three losers all at once. Of course you cannot. You are struggling with someone that is on the edge of exploding from all the radiation in their body. Exploding. That's a good idea. Watch this, Joe. What do you want to do? Boom! Ah. That surely got him. Who's funny now, Obama? I don't think so, Orange Man. What did we talk about durability? The only thing you managed to do is make this room stink of bacon. Trump, help. Ouch. Don't worry, Joe. I pulled out the big guns. He won't stand a chance. Go to hell, Trump. He hit me in the face. I'm not helping you out anymore. I will buy you ice cream if we survive. What? All right, that sounds more like it. Watch me blow his head off. I don't think that you are going to... Oh. Good job, guys. We finally took him down. Joe, he's dead. Yes, but this is fun. Fine, let me join in. You guys are goddamn psychos. You can join any time. We won't judge you. I guess I was wrong about video games causing violence. It's mental issues that are the problem. I'm going outside before I throw up in here. Hey, Trump, I only have one question. How did you know that there is a gas barrel on the forklift? Besides getting you an infinite amount of bitches... Being forklift certified also brings a lot of wisdom with it. Yeah, whatever, Trump. Was this all for today? Can I go to sleep now? All for today? We are not done. We are barely getting started, actually. For the next location, we will have to travel by boat. And since my $3 million yacht is in maintenance, I had to rent one out. Wait, so we will be getting there by yacht? Yacht is an understatement. I had Jeff Bezos rent his Bugatti mega yacht to me. It's filled with one-tenth of the female population in Miami by default and even has a kid's pool so that you can swim. This will be the best day of your ending life, Joe. Oh, my God, Trump. Thank you so much. Ah! It's just a little jump, Obama. Calm down. Have you never watched Fast and Furious? The main characters never die from cool stunts. Bro, I'm not getting in there. You scammed me. We all know that I wanted a mega yacht. You do, you old man. Have fun swimming. Okay, I am sorry. Now I have to get my whole suit wet because of your ego. God, you are such a moron. I am a moron, bro. You never received education. Your parents gave up on you from day one. Damn, you guys argue more than I do with my wife. No wonder we do. You don't have the balls to speak up to your wife. Yeah, I bet she would beat the living hell out of you. One wrong word and she's going to bite off your arm with that crocodile jaw of hers. I bet she has more bones in her face than most humans have in their entire body. All right, Joe, you are not as bad as I thought. Turns out that picking on Obama can bring us together. Sorry for what I said earlier. I'm also sorry we have to stick together and fight our common enemy. 
Obama's wife. Finally, we are here. I could not stand being in that boat with you two. Now, who the hell are we even tracking? Trump, you are about to take off. Calm down. This is even better than Bezos' yacht. All right, according to Fox News, there is a clown on fire around this spot. We will have to find and kill him. On fire? What do you mean by that? I have no clue, honestly. This is just what the dumbass news reporters said. I think that they are referring to it as a kill streak, like a Call of Duty one. I don't think that even they are dumb enough to use that term in a news report. Guys, what if the clown is actually on fire? That would be pretty wild, huh? Yeah, right, Joe. How about you take your pills and then speak up? Or maybe you've been trying harder drugs lately. That is one of the dumbest things you said, and your previous record was pretty much unbeatable, if you ask me. Hold up, boys. Is that... He was right, goddammit. Help me out. Help you? You better figure it out yourself, big guy. Just go box him. He's not on fire or anything of that kind. Obama, shoot him, please. After you bullied me for almost half an hour, no thank you. Good job. You killed him. Do you guys think that we can all gather around his corpse and make marshmallows or something? Trump, put your... Ah! Ah! Are we still alive? You idiots are lucky that I missed those shots. My hands were shaky. I almost died, and all you morons did was look at me being chased by that clown. To be fair, that was pretty funny. Anyways, you might have overreacted. Overreacted, you say? All right, Joe, let's calm down and have some marshmallows. Why don't you take a step back to get closer? I don't like this, Trump. It's not that deep. Wow. You are next, Obama. Joe, the ground is very cold tonight. Why don't you get closer to the campfire? But Trump, we haven't even... This is why I never liked you, Trump. Not only did you give me second-degree burns, you also didn't give me no marshmallows. You already fooled me two times. Guys, is what we do right? I mean, I understand killing the clown. He was basically a biohazard. But what did Pixie do to deserve this? Maybe we should stop and just go home to our family. Obama, for the love of God, I can barely lift my arm up. Don't make me come over there and slap you. How does your wife manage to stand you? Man, we bullied Obama enough for the next millennium. Let's focus on our job. The next psycho we have to deal with is Jeff the Killer. Besides having a criminally dog shit nickname, he also kidnaps women and locks them in a house. Trump, look ahead. There's a silhouette in the distance. It surely looks like it, but we cannot act too fast. This could be Jeff the Killer, a cold-blooded murderer and criminal. But on the other hand... YOLO! Those were surely the screams of a man. Good guess, Joe. You could have killed an innocent woman, you idiot. Anyways, let's get it done. Thanks for helping out this time. Maybe you should stop messing around with that 9 millimeter weapon, and you could have done things by yourself. Ah! What the? How is this guy still alive? I shot him square in the forehead. I guess I must have missed again. He's bulletproof Trump, I'm telling you. Keep on moving. This must be the house where he locks up all his victims? Yes, I can hear them from inside. We can rescue them later, but first, let's rescue ourselves. This guy is still following us with a hoodie and a knife and won't die from bullets. I have no clue how. We are three men armed with better weapons than the FBI. What can a skinny bitch in a hoodie do to us? I'm glad to see that you are more confident than before, but you might have been right. This guy truly is bulletproof. Ouch. He must also be from London. Now let's see if he's also knife-proof. Poor fella must not know that I came from the projects. If the projects is the name of your million-dollar mansion, then sure. I will run out of bullets. Biden, I need more bullets. Maybe a knife is not the way to go. Let me slowly pull out a 34-inch baseball bat out of my ass. I'm sorry to say it to you, but you will have to put it right where it came from since we emptied three magazines on this guy and he's not moving anymore. I decide when enough is enough. Blast him the way I blast immigrants with bullshit income taxes. How in the hell? All right, come here, bitch. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I hope he's ready for round two. Shooting this rifle is putting a lot of pressure on my knees. I'm not sure if I can take this for much longer. There is no way we are all dying because of your weak knees. I would rather get nuked by Putin than have that happen. To be honest, I think that we have been shooting a corpse for a few minutes. The woman inside must have gotten bored by now. Let's just make sure that he's dead. We made sure already. What more do you want to- Grenade! God damn it, you idiot. Why the hell would you do that? I am just making sure, Obama. Kill confirmed. Now let's take the ladies out of that ugly ass house. That house right there is what working the average wage for 20 years can get you in downtown New York. Let me open the door up FBI style. Doesn't seem to be working, huh? You could have killed up to four people just by shooting through that window. Amazing job, moron. All right, we are going back to the old reliable bombing the entire house. What? Trump, can I do it, please? I just have to call over a special forces unit. It won't take more than 15 minutes, I promise. The door won't open, and I'm tired of hearing those women sob and cry. Oh, well, must suck to be them. Trump 2024 campaign material. All right, gentlemen, we have been tracking and fighting ghosts and whatnot the entire night. I promise you this one will be the last. Somewhere in these waters, there is a rumored creature that feeds on passing ships. You call it rumored creature. I call it Somali pirates. Can you drop me off at home now? I am not taking a cold dive because your dumbass wants to look for Nemo the fish. Why do you always want to kill the fun? 
I guess I'm going alone in there since Joe can't swim for shit. Just a quick look around the place, and then we will get going. Have fun, big guy. If you don't come back in 20 minutes, this boat will be stationed on a random shore while I sleep on the piss-stained couch of a random motel in Miami. There is already a boat in there, not a good sign. This is perhaps one of the biggest sea plants known to man, never discovered by humanity or science. And what is that? Must be a shark. I need a better view that seems a little too big for a shark. Could it be? I have to dive down to figure out what it is. Is that a megalodon? Oh, well, unlucky for him, I had to deal with psychos and serial killers for the whole day. He is getting decimated. If Obama was here, he would have been like, it's 400 times your size. He weights 1,000 times more than you. It's a shark, blah, blah. He doesn't know what the president of the United States is made out of. Two megalodons, all right, that sounds like a challenge now. They better get their whole bloodline in here because I'm in a bad mood already. Donald J. Trump with a knife in his hand is more dangerous than any animal known to man. These fish better get ready to experience extinction for the second time. Okay, Donald, maybe they are just a little bit too big for you.